Boy, have we got a treat for you this morning. One of the stars of the hit Fox show, Sleepy Hollow, joins us today live. Neil Jackson. Good morning, Neil. Great to have you here with us. Thank you very much, Amanda. Lovely to uh, be here. And I got to tell our audience who you play, because you look a little different without the wig. Uh, you play Abraham Van Brunt, <laughs> a.k.a. the Horseman of War, the Headless Horseman himself. Wow, what a role yeah. for you. Yeah, it's a fantastic role. I mean, the, the, the way that the writers have written him this year is great because all of last season we had the Headless Horseman, who was the main villain of the show, who was just this blunt juggernaut of death. Um, so um, he was a very one-dimensional character. And this year, um, through magic and witchcraft, you get to see the Headless Horseman's head, which is Abraham Van Brunt, my character. So you now get to see the fragility and the humanity behind the um, Horseman of Death. And the great thing is it's starting to make audiences conflicted because if you start to sympathize with Abraham Van Brunt, then naturally you start to sympathize with the Horseman of Death. And how can you sympathize with the Headless Horseman? So it's become a really fun, complex role. Well, and, and I have to agree with you. You know, I just finished watching. I'm, I'm binge watching. Uh, I love this show, so I'm trying to get caught up. Just finished watching The Weeping oh, Lady. Oh, thank you. And, um, and, and oh, your relationship. That was a great episode, yeah, it wasn't was, it? was, and it really showcased you in, in such a different light, your relationship with Katrina. I started thinking, wow, you know, the, those emotions that your character is going through. This is, it's just great where Well, he's taking. just this bubbling cesspool of emotions. That's the thing. He was, he was um, a man who was um, a, an aristocratic guy who was well-loved he had a beautiful fiance um, his world was perfect and then Ichabod Crane stepped into his world and steals his fiance um, they have a fight he ends up getting shot and he gets turned into the horseman of death against his wish and now 250 years later he's this headless guy wandering around as the blunt instrument of Moloch and he's got frustrations and pains and angers and everything else like that but I think deep down he just needs a hug I think that um, all he really wants is to recapture that humanity. So he's got so many emotions that are just boiling with, within him, which is such a pleasure as an actor to tap into. Yeah, and he loves Katrina. You, you know that he does. Oh, he desperately, yeah. Um, Abby Mills, she is working 24-7 to try to track down um, the Horseman of War, the Headless Horseman. Um, my understanding is that the next episode is going to feature a lot of Miss Mills and uh, her backstory. A lot of Mills. There's a lot of her backstory coming up. Her mother returns to Sleepy Hollow, so we get a glimpse into Abby's past and what that necessarily means for her future. It's a really interesting episode from her character's perspective. And, and what can you tell me, you know, your thoughts on Sleepy Hollow, how, how unique this is, what, what the Producers and writers have presented here the uh, the classic story of Ichabod Crane, Sleepy Hollow, kind of turned on its head, mixed in with American history. Your thoughts on this? The, I mean, the writers are so clever with this. They're constantly trawling American history to try to find nuggets of information that can either be twisted or added in to support this supernatural story that we've got. So you've got all this fun um, frivolity that's going on with this, the, 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 the supernatural and the action, the thrillers and that kind of stuff. But then these amazing flashbacks that are doing this supernatural um, Sleepy Hollow twist on history. Um, so, I mean, they're brilliant with the stuff that they find. Oh, real quick, what's next for your character? What's coming up next is um, Abraham um, starts to tr uh, decide which um, foot his camp is in. I think he's only got one foot in the Moloch camp and he's got one foot in the Katrina camp. And as Katrina starts to show and reciprocate his affections, mm -hmm. he has a choice to make. Does he still continue down the dark path as the horseman of death or does he move towards becoming the humanity and the man that he once was? So he's got a big choice coming up. Well, I can see that coming and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what's next between Katrina, Abraham, Ichabod and Abby. Thanks again for joining us this morning. Thank you so much, Amanda. Pleasure talking to you.